Hello everyone, I'm Paige Armstrong. I am a sophomore going into my junior year. My major is nursing and health science. And my plan for my future career is to own um, multiple pediatric skilled facilities. Um, specific academic material that I found most interesting is going over the different types of insurances because going in the field that I am now, the insurances were the biggest thing to learn just because we were never taught it. So I really, really, really enjoyed learning and actually understanding that in a skilled facility that that is the insurance that we use. That's that's what we're going to use. So um, it was really, really interesting, you know, to actually be able to dive into that, learn more about it and really um, be able to grow in that ask that topic um you know how did the material fit with both your personal life and your professional career it completely changed because now I'm not out of the loop in conversations about insurance and I can talk to people about it and I feel as though I'm a wealth of knowledge um what academic topics do you feel you're missing this semester um, I would have liked to go over more long-term care. I feel like it's a dying um, profession, and I think it has a really bad stigma around it that could be changed with, you know, the right uh, teaching and the right knowledge, and I think that we could really change that stigma around. What assumptions or expectations did I bring to this course? Um, things I brought about this to this course is I knew a lot about actual healthcare delivery because when getting my healthcare administration license, um, the course that I had to take and my boards and whatnot, it really went into depth about delivery and um, the way healthcare actually runs and professionals and uh, there's a policy that goes with a procedure and I understood all that. So really the insurance was like the biggest thing for me to hit on because they really didn't hit on it anywhere. Um, so that's kind of my assumptions or expectations is that I figured I would learn, you know, more about healthcare delivery and, uh, what, you know, prices and budgets and, um, more the business side of healthcare, if that makes sense. Um, how did this course make me feel? I feel I, like I gained a ton of knowledge, a ton of wisdom, and I really think that it'd be beneficial, you know, that people take this course because it really is a course when you're going into healthcare it's really important to know the things that were taught and really learn it it's not something you just fly by and get by it's something you really need to take into account and really learn um how did this course help me better understand policies organization technology delivery of healthcare i mean you hit it all um this course really went into each of those categories and it's really, really important on the business side of healthcare that you really understand that even if you do have to take this for, um, and you're going more into the patient care, more into the nursing, um, it's important to know, you know, policies and delivery of healthcare and how that affects you in what you do. Um, what new skills did I learn that were relevant? Uh, new skills that I learned is I love the Cornell notes. Cornell notes, we used them back in middle school and then I totally forgot about them and that is something that I love. I printed them off and that's my way of taking notes now. Um, what experiences did I have that reiterated on my choice of health related career? Um, the readings were very, I feel as though the healthcare delivery readings are all kind of the same. If it makes sense, and I really think that an updated one needs to be made to fit our healthcare now, especially with all the growing technology, advances, and whatnot. Uh, what experiences were relevant in helping me make choices about future jobs? Um, I, I kind of know what I really want to go into, but um, so that really doesn't affect me. Um... I learned that there are different, there's community-based and community-based, uh, community, 
continuing retirement community are not assisted livings. I kind of had that notion in my head that those were the same, so I learned that. Um, I learned this when this learning matters. This learning matters. Healthcare delivery matters. So, 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 so important. And I really want to hit on policy and procedure. Policy and procedure, there's a rhyme for a reason. And getting into the job that I do now, it is really, really, really important because they, you know, when you're getting surveyed or state comes in the Department of Health, they're going to ask for a policy and did you follow the procedure so that that this learning is very, very important, is very important. Um, I really enjoyed the class. I really think that it's important. I really think that it needs to be in the cur- curriculum for anybody that's going into the healthcare. So I'm really glad that I took this class. I feel as though I really, really took a lot from it. I really, I really took a lot from it. Um, how has COVID-19 impacted me personally? Um, it just kind of changed everyone's world, I feel like. I feel like it changed my world. It changed my family's world. Um, it kind of made people more distant, more isolated. Um, it changed our learning. I would have never done an online class ever, but now all my classes are online. Um, my whole habits have changed. My style of learning has changed, so it's it's really, really hit home. (laughs) But thank you. I enjoyed this class and I hope everything is well.